Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump refusing to apologize after appearing to mock a New York Times reporter's physical disability. It happened during a campaign rally in South Carolina. That reporter, Sergei Kovaleski, has a condition which affects his arm movements, the newspaper calling Trump's actions, quote, outrageous. But Trump denies he was mocking that reporter and says the New York Times should apologize to him, actually. In a statement, Trump says, quote, I have no idea who this reporter, Sergei Kovaleski, is. What he looks like or his level of intelligence, I don't know if he is J.J. Watt or Muhammad Ali in his prime or somebody of less athletic or physical ability. Despite having one of the all-time great memories, I certainly do not remember him. End quote. <laughs> but now that reporter says he's covered Trump for years and even interviewed him in his office. Andrea, your thoughts? This is a tough one for me because um, my younger brother was disabled. And when people make fun of the disabled, I become furious, furious. Do you think that's what he was doing? I mean, doing? I, get, I get tremendously defensive. And so if that's what he was doing, it is despicable. And there is no excuse for it. Now, he says he didn't know the reporter was disabled. Exactly. So, I mean, but look, as a sister of someone who's disabled, it, is, it, is, it really hits home. So I think I think that Donald Trump should have apologized or clarified it better because now it's a question of credibility. Did he really know that he was disabled? And then he also loses his argument because the argument should be that this guy wrote a hit job story and doesn't have credibility and then denied really writing the story. That's the issue at hand, not his disability. I mean, for me, the disability is that he's a liberal. That's the biggest issue that I would criticize him on, not his physical one. So, Catherine, how does he get beyond this? Because it seems like Donald Trump can have a misstep every now and then, and he always comes up, not just gets up, gets up stronger. He doesn't have to do anything. He did what he always does. He doesn't just not apologize. He goes on the offensive and he says, how dare you make this up? You need to apologize apologize to me every single time he has a delusional level of faith in himself which honestly it, it's must be fun right to think that you've never ever made a mistake you'd walk around being happy all the time it must be really really fun <laughs> but yeah it's not gonna hurt him he's figured out a way to have anything he's never gonna apologize because he doesn't have to and he won't have to apologize for this either uh, dr. Manning I know you love Donald Trump I do. you, you I, I do. love uh, to him all the I, time I, so I, what are I your do. thoughts on this well I think I look I think he, he this is a misstep uh, and I'm gonna call it that uh, I don't think uh, I mean, I'm assuming that Donald Trump will not have uh, that the kind of a character that would make fun of somebody who is disabled because that is despicable. I know really. you have a so special, special needs daughter. Have a special for needs this. son. I I, every, I know that, but I think that this is a misstep. I think that you know one of the problems uh, is that he um, sometimes just does things without thinking and he gets caught in the mo moment and unfortunately all of this uh, controversy uh, is taken away uh, uh, from the story and what was the story was he accurate in saying that there were people uh, mm -hmm. in roofs in Jersey City uh, you know celebrating the, f the the fall of the towers um, uh, you know and that story uh, has some truth to it uh, maybe not to the degree that he um, uh, initially expressed it but but those are facts that should be talked about I mean recently there was a soccer game in Turkey. Um, they asked for a minute of silence uh, if, because of the shootings in Paris. Uh, they didn't quiet down. They started celebrating in the middle of the soccer game. So there's precedent to this. And unfortunately, with this misstep, I think we lost sight of the story. All right. Well, first of all, he uh, seems to not know who this reporter is, but mocked him in exactly the same way that this reporter has a disability. I'm not going to do it now because I think it's reprehensible. But by sheer coincidence, he did the exact same hand movement this reporter happens to have as a disability. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it's not the first time. He mocked our own Charles Krauthammer, as you recall, when Charles Krauthammer was uh, saying things to him that he didn't consider to be kind. And he mocked Charles, Charles Krauthammer's disability. It's not the first time. This is a reprehensible human being. I'm not even talking as a, as a political candidate anymore. If you were a Democrat, I'd say the same thing. You do not mock the disabled. And it's not the first time he knew exactly what he was doing. It's disgusting. He should apologize. But of course, he's not going to because, as you said, it must be always nice to be always right and to have everybody mm -hmm. else be the wrong person. Uh, all right. You've yeah. done professional messaging for candidates. Real quickly, what would you tell them to do? I would tell them to move on as quickly as possible and never do it again because it's up to the voters to decide. I mean, you heard Dr. Manny. He has a child with special needs. I have a brother. The question is, will we overlook this if he wins the nomination to vote for him? We'll have to see.